Look what has arrived from Emot Racing. Welcome back to my garage. I received the rotary valve and the drive nut from Emot Racing a few days ago. Thanks a bunch, Emot. Go check them out. It's the place to go if you're looking for proper racing parts. Rotary valves, high quality pistons with the ring pin in the right location, high quality con rods, bearings, ignition systems, custom rotary valve assemblies so you can make your bike rotary valve, pipes, even cylinders, tires, everything, plugs. So go check them out. Proper racing parts. Proper racing parts. Link in the description. The reason the drive nut is not in my hand is because it's 15mm ID and my crank is 16mm OD. I started sanding it in the drill press, but I soon gave up. Luckily, Holai and Daren came to the rescue once again. It's currently on its way to him for machining. Go check him out, he has a YouTube channel and he's on Instagram, so links in the description. Today we're going to cut clearance in the cover for this thing and the drive nut and the end of the crankshaft. This would be a quick job in a mill. Let's see how it works out with a handheld wood router instead. I've already punched center on this side of the cover. This ring in the middle of the rotary valve is 30, almost 37 millimeters wide in diameter. And I think I'm going for about 39 millimeters for some clearance. So that's about seven millimeters plus one, eight millimeters. So I'm going to take off 9 millimeters. The new drive nut isn't as thick as my old one and I can cut my crank a little shorter too. First, let's find out how the wood router handles aluminium. So I got this idea earlier today to use a handheld router to route out the aluminium. I went and got this cheap one and installed is an 8 millimeter end mill for metal. Now I don't really trust this depth stop thing it seems really wonky so what i'm going to do is use gasket material this is 0.5 millimeters so i'll be cutting 0.5 millimeters each pass and i'll place that on the material and i'll plunge the router down until i hit and lock it then i'll remove the material and I should have 5 millimeters depth of cut. I will also pre-drill a hole here, so I won't have to plunge into the material with the end mill without any proper support. It's set to the lowest speed, it's still 10,000 RPM, so it should be sufficient. I won't use any lubricant now, but when I'm cutting in the cover, I'll use this uh, VD40 Brunox uh, thing. As you can see here, this works perfectly fine. The router came with this tracing attachment. You place it here around the mill and you can follow a piece of material sitting on top of what you're cutting. Just like those bearing uh, bits you've seen. This thing has 18 mm OD and my mill is 8, 5 mm wider. I made a hole in this piece of uh, fiberboard. That's 44 millimeters in diameter. And that should give me about 39 millimeter hole in the cover. That's the plan anyway. I'll lay out a circle 
that's uh, 44 millimeters in diameter and use that as a guide for the template. Now I'll drill a 9 millimeter deep starting hole for the end mill and we're ready to go. I'll start by hot gluing the cover to the base plate and then I'll align the template and screw that down. That's not looking too bad. Let's do a couple more cuts and I'll bring you in again. I noticed the end mill is not exactly centered in this bushing, so I will have to rotate the router to make it even all around. But so far so good. I'll just keep on cutting and uh, bring you back when it's done or destroyed. Doesn't look too bad. I wiped it off and it looks great. There's still some glue residue here. There's just one problem though. I must have measured something wrong because the hole is 36 millimeters in diameter and I was aiming for 39. <laughs> I'll just have to remount the template and open it up another 3 millimeters. Okay, I'll be back. I just realized that there's just a small part of it that has to be of a larger diameter because the drive nut is smaller and will fit and the crank is of course smaller and will fit. It's just this ring that needs a larger diameter. So I'll take off the 3 millimeters and I'll be back. I'm just going to do this freehand. I've scored a new line. I'm going to set it to 3 millimeters depth and I'm just going to go around carefully cutting out what I need to cut out. So wish me luck. You might think this is stupid. Just clearance. Didn't turn out too bad. Of course it would have looked prettier if uh, I had measured right the first time. What I did wrong was I subtracted 5mm. What I didn't think of was that it was 5mm per side. 
the valve fits nicely perfect okay have to wrap it up here it's late go check out emote racing for super awesome racing parts and milling soft metal with a handheld wood router works just fine okay thanks for watching please subscribe and i'll see you next time Thank you.